Hi everyone! The slow but insidious creep of clutter upon my desk grows ever larger and it is driving me crazy so I am going to tidy all of this up today and sort it into a much more organized fashion. Not even my light has the correct day or time so I might have to fix that too. Up on top of my pencil tower is this little wooden box here. This is meant to be for pastels. I think I have maybe a few in there, but otherwise it has been sitting doing nothing for months and months. So I think I'm going to move it onto my desk and fill it full of stuff that is sitting, laying around, cluttering up the place. Let's get into it. So here we are, I've pulled the box down, it's now on my desk. Apologies for the slightly wobbly camera footage, I'm actually holding it at the moment because it's just easier. Let's actually see if there's anything in here. Um, totally empty. What about this one? Totally empty. I think there might be something in this one. I do actually have something in here. I know what these are. I'd forgotten they were in there. Those are my Montmartre oil pastels. Well, these are in boxes which I can stack elsewhere because those are already contained. So yeah, I think what I am going to do is try and move some of this stuff in here. Obviously not everything is going to fit such as these things. It's just been building up over many months and you know what it's like. It gets to a point where you just kind of can't do anything else until you actually fix it. This I just got recently too. It says antisocial on it. It's a Christmas tree ornament from Typo and it was on sale for a dollar. So I figured it would have to come into my studio. All right, I'm going to set up my camera, I think, so that I can have both hands free. And then I'm going to do some tidying and we'll see what we can come up with. I'm probably a bit wonky here. I've just kind of set a camera up on a slight angle so I can see it. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just get everything off the desk and then I can start again. I'd actually take this whole thing off and clean underneath because can you see that beautiful line of dust around the backdrop that I use so I really need to clean this entire desk and then I think I'll let it dry and then I will clean this backdrop off camera because it's going to need some work at the sink I think it with glass that it always looks really streaky when you clean it I mean really I should probably use window cleaner with newspaper but I can't find the window cleaner so I'm just going to make do I think once it dries it will look a lot better anyway and I'm going to put my screen back on oh and in case you're wondering what I use it's just a piece of core flute really I think I need to actually go and buy another bit but it's kind of hard just to throw it out. I feel really guilty about throwing things like that out so I'll clean it up as best I can. This scuff mark has been driving me crazy for the last few videos and I hope it's not been too annoying. So let's get it cleaned up so it's not going to be in any more of them. There we go, that's much better. I feel better already just having cleaned the desk. There are a few little marks on here which I'm going to have to scrub it, but overall I did get rid of those really annoying scuff marks, so that's a win. All right, now I need to think about what I'm going to put where, but let's see if this box actually fits on the end there. Plenty of room. I did think about putting it this way, but if I have it up there, I'm only going to put stuff in front of it and if I have it like this <laughs> that will no doubt get full of stuff and also it's a little bit more awkward pulling things that way when I'm sitting at my desk it's actually easier to pull the drawers out like this 
and let me just check this bottom one yeah that comes out pretty easily so I think I'm going to sit the box like that I mean I've got this bucket thing which I really like it's a little ceramic thing so I don't really want to get rid of them but I'm just not too sure if I want to have all of them out so I'm sure some of these things can go in there when I'm not filming sometimes I just use this small light to you know if I just want to draw something quickly or something like that when I haven't got the big filming lights on I just found these two alcohol inks that I had totally forgotten about they were in the bottom of there and so I'm going to put those with my alcohol ink collection to use in a future video they have a home now excellent Okay, I do not need all of these pots on my desk, so I'm going to curl it down maybe to those two. I don't know. I'm going to just have to spend quite a lot of time fiddling about. I think what I'm going to do is just show you the end result, but I've got these pots. I also have two plastic containers which just have all sorts of random junk in them, and I really need to go through and just sort it out. I've got some inks, I've got a pencil sharpener, some glue, that's some of that colored pencil, Russian pencil stuff. In this one, I just have a whole bunch of random swatches and pamphlets and things. So yes, all of this is going to be done. And through the magic of YouTube, I'm going to tidy all this up instantaneously. Ta-da! <laughs> it looks so much better than it did before. Granted, it's not totally clutter-free, but it's far more organized and I've managed to put some things together and get rid of some of the stuff that really did not need to be on my desk. I'm not going to tell you where that stuff is because that's another area that I need to clean for another time. But right now I just wanted to sort my desk out because this is where I work pretty much every day and it was driving me crazy. As you can see, I've changed the clock. It took me quite a while to figure out how to do that. There's these really confusing buttons on the back and I've long since lost the instructions for it, but I've worked it out. You can see today's date here is actually probably a few days ago, possibly even up to two weeks weeks ago. I know I filmed this in advance because I'm planning to go out to my father's and I wanted to have footage done in time so that I could have a video out for you in advance. So let's zoom in and take a closer look at what I've done with my desk now. Alright so on the top here I've got one pot. I allowed myself one on the desk and in here I have my scissors because I'm forever grabbing those. I've got my glasses and I've got this foofy pen which I'm not too sure what to do with yet. I may end up getting rid of it or putting it somewhere else but I just thought I'd leave it there because it's cute. Behind that I've got my alcohol spray which I do tend to use quite a bit. I have two sharpeners here. One's never been used and I need to find batteries for it but I do use this one all of the time to sharpen my colored pencils. I've just got another little Karen Dash one here. I've got my palette nest here because those don't go anywhere else <laughs> and in the back here I've got this one container which I decided to keep because my ink bottles are too tall. I've got some glue, some masking fluid and various bottles of ink in here that I do tend to use quite a lot. This one for example is my Black India ink and then I've got my favorite bleed proof white ink. I've got my odorless mineral spirits in a little jar as well. So just bits and pieces like that. Those are those metallic inks that I have, the gold and the silver. And I think there's a black one in there as well. I cannot get that lid off. It is totally welded on there. <laughs> it's so annoying. But anyway, let's move down to the drawers. Okay, so in the top drawer, I figured I would have the things that I most use and I've sorted it out. Look how pleasing that is. Oh, it's so nice to see everything. So I have quite a lot of dip pens. They were in a pot and every time I took my hand to them I would quite often stab myself on their sharp points. So they're all nicely safe in a drawer. I've got just everyday brushes and that one I really need to clean with some alcohol because I think I used a little bit of alcohol ink and I totally forgot to clean it so that is going to be on my list of things to do is we'll clean the edge of that brush. I've got some extra scratch board cutters in here which I need to find my other scratch board ones and put them all together but I just put them in there for safekeeping. Just some regular HB pencils and some of my nicer Palomino Blackwing pencils and a couple of black ink pens that I do use quite a lot and I just want them there so I can grab them. Second shelf down, 
or drawer. We've got a couple of spray bottles, I've got some sharpeners, there's another one which has disappeared up the back there. This bronzeal sharpener I use all of the time so that needs to come to the front. <laughs> and I have got my old kneaded eraser which I will probably actually throw this out soon because I've got a fresh one, I've just got another black eraser, one of those dust free ones and a couple of spray bottles. I've got some coloured pencils in here, those really jumbo ones, little stirring sticks and a straw, just some ballpoint pens and a few little things of washi tape here which I use to stick paper down so I just thought I'd put all of those in there. <laughs> it is so awkward I'm just going to switch hands because I can never do anything left-handed. Get my right hand, that's much better. That's the only trouble with these drawers. Okay, this eraser is going to have to find a new home because it's bulky and it is just taking up space. So I think I'll leave the nice clean kneaded eraser in there. And I might just pop the one I'm using just in there. That's so annoying, but I will probably throw it out, I think. Last drawer, I've got some sharpeners. This one's a Blackwing 2 point thing. It's very confusing. And there is another Blackwing pencil sharpener that they've released recently, but it's really expensive, but it's a single point sharpener and I really want to get it. So that's on my list of wishful things. <laughs> just another little sharpener. I've got some more masking fluid here. I'm not too sure if this actually might go up here next to my other masking fluid and then I know where they are so I'll do that. <laughs> if I come back down I've got my smudge glove there, a tiny little pad of Stonehenge black paper for watercolour and in here is just all of my pamphlets and little off cuts of watercolour paper that I use for when I'm doing test swatches so I've just put them all together in there. It's a bit messy I may decide to change what I'm going to put in here but for now it's just keeping it out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. That is my lovely clean desk. I don't know how long it's going to last like this but at least I feel a bit better. So here we go, I'll just quickly pan across a nice tidy workspace for filming more videos. Hooray! So that's all I have today in this video. It's just a short one. I really needed to tidy this up and I thought I would share the process with you. So I hope you enjoyed this today. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all again in my next video, which will be really soon. Swatch you later. Bye!